Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So about 25 after 3, 24.2 degrees Celsius, 52% humidity. You can see right there, the sun's not in the right place for my battery. It is 9.15 Tuesday, 75.0 degrees. So, I've been spending a little time with the buckwheat badger, the Yamaha from the outbuilding, whatever you want to call her. Um, and she, I gotta be honest with you, she fired right up. What I did with the gas tank is, and after I did it, I realized that this red death stuff really isn't the best for gasoline. So, I'm hoping it stays on there. The only problem is, when you open and close the valve, you're like torquing on it quite a bit. And to keep engines running, it's always best if you turn off the gas and run them out. But as you're doing that, once again, you're torquing on this, which could bring the leak back. Anyway, let me show you what I got here. Cleaned it up a little bit. Not bad, eh? I'm a little big for this. Ah! Oh, man. Not quite as big as you dizzy was on the uh, on that little yellow two-stroker, but I am a little big for this. I gotta tell you, almost fits through the hole. a little ride on it get the battery charged up make sure all is good it only has a four speed I see it's got two brake handles. I'm not sure if it's got front and backs or both just actuate the backs. There is, I don't think there's any suspension. There might be something up front. Nah, it looks like there's no suspension on this pig. It rides like it's got no suspension. And the tires are hard. They're pretty old now. 25 years old. I probably could have downshifted. I cut the trail. You guys want to take a ride there? Oh, I didn't hear any no's. Didn't hear any yeses either. Yeah, with somebody who's as top-heavy, so to speak, as I am, normally kids ride these things and they weigh more from the waist down. They don't have bellies and shoulders and all that other stuff. So, when I get off caliper with this thing, it is a little bit tippy. I'm all the way down in first. By the way, really good place to put the gas tank. Hook it right to the handlebars. That way if you make a hard turn, you could tear the hose off the carburetor.
Yeah, this thing's got a nice choppy feel to it. Kind of suffers a bit from oversteer as you put it into a turn. It like wants to turn hard and kind of like pulls back down to first. Sorry about the slow ride, guys. Yeah, I just cut this trail. Well, just cut it, just recut it. It had overgrown a bit, so. We haven't been back here in a little while. Let me go where I can still wheel it out. My barn. Well, not my barn. Yeah, here's reverse. Push with your feet. You guys can see the whole thing is about done. The lean-to part is still pretty good, but that's good that time. Beautiful sunny day. Should have cut back here, but I didn't. When I do the leaf shred shred, I'll have to get back here and cut. Well, back to the house. And the brakes do work. Any fits? So here we are, successful round trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Yeah, getting these two bikes out of here will, uh, will help a little bit, but not a lot. Before anybody asks, is anything for sale? The answer is no. Remember, I'm a crazy hoarder. I hoard, I have ADD. Yeah, and I'm mostly nuts, so. Boy, that, uh, this gasket stuff stinks. It's got like an acidy smell. It says it takes 24 hours to dry. It says what you do is you put it on there, and you don't quite tighten down all the way. You tighten down kind of most of the way, and then after it dries, you give it the last little little squeeze that way uh, I guess it puts some um, you got a little bit of material and it puts some pressure on it which I guess gives you a better seal that's what we're hoping for not a bad looking bike try to back up without killing myself yeah I got that for my sons I lived at the old house and we moved out of that place in 95 well, 96, the beginning of 96. So, it's over 20. 21, something like that. I've had it 21 years. I looked it over. I couldn't find a tag. I couldn't find a, um, um, what do you call it, a manufacturing plate. I couldn't find any CC numbers on the engine. There are some numbers right under here. But, um... I can't translate them into CCs. Actually, I do have a question for you guys. Uh, gas line. This kind of stuff typically shows up on a lot of the carburetors. This is a drain tube, right? Clip on one end, nothing on the other. But I really like this stuff. It, 
I have a tendency to like using it for gas line. I don't know, what are you guys using for gas line? I I am so frustrated with gas with gas line. I've bought some of the better stuff. You know, actually paid for this. And um I got a piece in here. I think this is called vinyl. That has a tendency to harden up. You can see the way they're flared out. And then it leaks. You know, typically they use this stuff like on batteries as drain tubing. But you expose it to gas and that's not really good. And then you got this this like official automotive stuff. But it doesn't, I mean, if you put it on and put a clamp on it, it'll seal pretty good. But if you uh, just slide it on, it really doesn't. Where this stuff kind of like stretches nice over a fitting and, and stays on there good, then when it's time to put, get it off, just kind of push it from the bottom and it pushes right off. Right as you're pushing on it, it kind of makes it expand and it comes right off. So I don't know if you guys have some trick for, for gas line. I mean, this stuff, it's the same stuff. And this is obviously as old as the bike, which is going on 25, right? And it's still pretty flexible. I don't know. What do you guys have for a source of gas line? Where do you get your stuff from? Um, once again, if you look at this or this, there's no fibers in the center of it, right? The real automotive gas line, right, if you, you look at this, if I showed you a cutoff section, there's actually fibers that run through it. I don't know, nylon probably, polyester, some polymer fibers. But um, once again, that also makes it so it's, it's harder to kind of stretch and do things with. I really like this stuff. Yeah, if you guys could let me know what you guys use for gas line, where you get it from, I'd love to get a, a roll of this stuff. Maybe in this size. I don't know what size is that. That's pretty small. Maybe 3 16th. And then um, this is the next size up. Maybe quarter inch. So, I'd, yeah, I'd love to get a roll of each. All right, let me know. Let me know what you guys are doing. You guys that play with this stuff, I know. Uh, I know you put your little hands on it. Um, so yeah, let me know, guys. Thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and remember to get out there and enjoy all your days. And while you're enjoying your days, stay out the buckwheat, and you know, enjoy. Bye now.